Hi, I'm David Brevik, President and CEO of Gazillion Entertainment. In the past, I've worked on games such as Diablo and Diablo 2, but today I'm excited to show you a sneak peek at the early gameplay experience in Marvel Heroes, our massive multiplayer online action RPG. It has been designed from the ground up to be a free-to-play game. We believe it is one of the highest quality free-to-play games out there. There are no barriers to entry, there's no paying for power, you can play through the entire experience all for free. Our story begins on the Raft, a special floating prison where S.H.I.E.L.D. keeps the most dangerous supervillains. Hydra is orchestrating a jailbreak and our job is to stop them. Keep in mind that this is still very early gameplay captured from our closed beta, so expect some of what you're about to see to change in the future. We're going to play as Storm today. Storm is a member of the X-Men with the ability to control the weather. Because the raft is the first thing players will see when they play Marvel Heroes, we've designed it to introduce the basic mechanics of the game. If you've played action RPGs in the past, or even if you're new to the genre, the controls are very easy to pick up. Left click makes your character move and attack. Right click activates the secondary power. As your character gains experience and levels up, you will gain access to new powers and new abilities that will you customize your hero according to your playstyle. Marvel Heroes combines action RPG gameplay with the multiplayer features of an MMO, which is something that really hasn't been done before. As you can see, a piece of loot is dropped, and in this case, it's a new cape for Storm. You can equip it either by right-clicking on it in your inventory or clicking and dragging it into the appropriate slot. In our game, drops are on a per-character basis, so any of the loot that is on the screen can only be seen and picked up by you. You don't have to race to pick it up before someone else steals it because different loot drops for each individual player. Although the raft is a single-player introduction to the game, you'll spend most of your time in Marvel Heroes exploring large public combat zones and fighting alongside dozens of other heroes. She's making her way through the raft here, and it looks like she's showing us an example of a throwable object. If you hit an enemy with a chair like this, it'll stun them and leave them vulnerable to attack. Storm can easily pick up a chair or a trash can with her powers, but you can expect stronger characters like the Hulk to be able to chuck dumpsters or cars at enemies to deal massive damage. Part of making your character feel like a superhero is making you feel powerful. So every zone has a ton of destructible objects. So if you look on the right side of the screen here, you'll see that we have a number of mission objectives. In order to help these S.H.I.E.L.D. agents get the raft back under control, we've got to reactivate the security system, restore the main power grid, and lock down all the cells to stop the prisoners from escaping. Now we're going to take a ride on the funicular down to cell block alpha, where the most dangerous villains are locked up. In Marvel Heroes, enemies aren't going to be standing around waiting to get beaten up. They're going to come at you with grappling hooks, jet packs, and you can see they'll even climb up a moving elevator to get you. Oh nice, a whole bunch of experience orbs have popped out. Every time you take down an enemy, your character gains experience, but sometimes you'll get the chance to pick up some bonus experience by grabbing these orbs. Experience orbs can only be picked up by you, but you'll see them start to shrink and disappear if you don't pick them up quickly. These orbs come in a variety of flavors. Red restores your health, blue restores your spirit. The quicker you grab them, the bigger the bonus. Here she just found a waypoint. Waypoints are activated when your hero runs over top of them, and that allows you to teleport at any time back to another waypoint you've discovered, and that's also where your character will appear if you're defeated. We're getting pretty close to the security console, and it looks like Hydra's got it locked down. Storm takes them down, and now Shield should have access to the RAF security systems again. Look out for Hydra Power Brawlers. Ouch! If you get too close, they'll pound the ground. It'll leave you stunned for a few seconds. The game runs on the Unreal Engine, so not only do the graphics look beautiful, but we have realistic physics. Some powers and attacks blow objects and enemies backward, and you'll see bodies go limp as they fall off ledges. This is an example of a discovery mission. You can basically think about it as a quest that appears on a single screen. Here, you're rescuing a shield agent as a bunch of Hydra come down and attack. And uh, once you've cleared that out, you get a little bonus experience, and the discovery is complete. We're coming up on our next objective, so after Storm takes out these Hydra invaders, she'll be able to restore the power to the raft. Which she will do here by flipping the switch. 
But before she does it, it looks like she's leveled up. Goddess be praised. This is where Marvel Heroes really lets you customize your character's playstyle. By spending points in your power tree, you can upgrade and unlock powers and abilities that fit the way that you want to play. Keep in mind that this is still a work in progress, so you can expect to see this panel filled with dozens of powers in the future. So as our second objective here, we're going to restore power to the... Oh my god, Living Laser was in there! Laser. You're no match for a Living Laser! Boss characters in Marvel Heroes are much stronger than your average hired Ragoon, and they'll challenge you to find ways to avoid their attacks. Living Laser can teleport across the screen, channel an energy beam, and fire energy projectiles. Storm's doing a pretty good job of dodging these lasers, but it looks like she's taking some damage. Luckily, she's got a nice stack of med kits in her inventory that she can use by hitting H on the keyboard. Storm's really got him on the ropes, using her new power to tear into his health bar. And there he goes. As a reward, you will see a giant loot pinata, something that is near and dear to my heart. Every boss in Marvel Heroes drops a metal that you can equip to power up your character. Since Living Laser is basically pure energy, his metal boosts your maximum spirit. If you beat a heavyweight like the Rhino, you might get a chance to knock enemies down with each attack. Generally, each metal is flavored after the boss you've defeated. Another great feature of Marvel Heroes is the ability to bring up your roster and switch to any hero you've unlocked. Here, we've switched to Deadpool, one of my personal favorites. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. As you can see here, we have a few ready-made costumes to choose from. We have his X-Force costume, as well as his pirate Deadpool. Arr! But now, we're just going to stick with his traditional red and black. There are a variety of costumes for every character, hundreds of costumes in the game, so you're not going to see two Deadpools who look and play exactly the same. As you can see, Deadpool plays very differently from Storm. Every character in Marvel Heroes plays differently. Some are brawlers like Thing and Wolverine, others are better at range, some fly. One of us broke something. These are all different ways you can play the game, so RPG fans can really think of each hero as its own character class. Deadpool's a really versatile character. He uses pistols, swords, and as he levels up, he can take advantage of his healing factor to regain health over time. Deadpool is doing a good job of defeating some of the enemies. He's also using an ability called Stop, Drop, and Roll, which lets him move through enemies and underneath missiles. Great! Deadpool's just locked down the cell block so that we don't have to worry about any more prisoners escaping or Hydra reinforcements showing up. Now we've got to finish sweeping the area. It looks like Deadpool was just about to get smashed by that power brawler, but his stop, drop, and roll ability briefly stuns the enemy, so it's great to use when you see the bad guys winding up for a powerful attack. Uh oh, that's not good. Eddie Brock managed to get out of his cell before we could initiate the lockdown, and it looks like he's being infested by the Venom symbiote. We'll probably have to fight him later in the game. One of the great things about this game is that we've got access to thousands of characters from the movies and comics. You're going to be picking up missions from NPCs like Professor X, Agent Coulson, and here it looks like Maria Hill needs our help. Green Goblin is still on the loose and he's standing between these shield agents and the exit. So here's our first major boss fight. Green Goblin packs a punch and it's going to take everything we've got to bring him down. It's time to play. He's got a bunch of different moves that you have to be on the lookout for. If you're taking him on from range, he'll toss poison pumpkins at you. And as you know, the first rule of video games is never stand in the poison. He's also got a bombing run attack. So Deadpool is going to have to avoid not only the poison clouds, but also the dive bombing supervillain. Get too close and he'll knock you back with an energy shock. Deadpool's starting to run low on health, but with his natural healing factor and help from a med kit, he should be able to stay on his feet. 
You'll see Deadpool attacking with his swords to stack a bleeding effect on Green Goblin, which you can see up by his health bar. But when he tosses a pumpkin bomb, Deadpool can roll safely to attack with his pistols at range. Deadpool's got him on the ropes, nicely done, and that does it for Green Goblin, and the raft is now secure. We hope you've enjoyed this early glimpse at Marvel Heroes. For more information and to sign up for the beta, please go to marvelheroes.com. I hope to see all of you in the game when we launch in 2013. Thanks so much for watching.